Welcome everybody to another episode of Joey's Garage. I'm Joey and this is my garage. Today I'm going to be talking about carburetor tuning. Now I've done other um, videos on carburetor tuning so today I'm going to be talking about how to problem solve if you're having issues with your carburetor and you find you have to keep tweaking it just a small little bit here and there and it shouldn't be like that. I've done the past ones where once the cold weather comes in you have to tune it and then the hot weather. But other than that, that's it. You shouldn't be adjusting and fine tuning your carburetor here and there unless you're racing it or you have some high performance type of, you know, jazz or chiz going on. With this, it should be quick, easy, and simple. So basically to lay it all out with my carburetor, I've been finding over the week or so, I've had to tune it just slightly. And that's because I have that wide band sensor and I can see what exactly what kind of um, you know a mixture I'm getting with my carburetor and I saw it's getting leaner and leaner and leaner and I kept having to tune it and tune it and tune it to just keep it in that 13 on my um, mixture ratio now usually you may not notice that but then it got worse and worse and then one day it was just completely hollow it was running very weak and it was just running jacked up so it was just jank all the way to the max so I had to tune it so I figured I'm going to tune it and then that be the end of it, negative. It came back. So I'm taking it apart and I'm going to look for that problem and I'll show you exactly the steps you need to take if you have that problem. And with it getting leaner and leaner, you'll notice that the uh, muffler or you know the exhaust, you'll hear it getting hollow and hollower. And you also notice that it's kind of um, getting weaker and weaker when you're sitting at idle. Those are going to be the um, key. Um, points to look for if you're having your mixture getting leaner with uh, mine as I said I have the wide band so I can see it and I knew it was getting leaner so this is how you can look for it and how to fix that problem so come on over to my um, GY6 um, scooter and I'll show you exactly how to fix it all right so the first step in the process is you're gonna need either um, carburetor cleaner or you're gonna need starter fluid either one will work you just need one that's gonna be combustible because we're going to be spraying on top of the um, vacuum lines right here that runs up to the pet cock, runs down, runs down to the, um, the carburetor, and then it runs down to the manifold. For me, I'll just use a little bit of starter fluid just because that's what I have. And I'm just going to be spraying on these um, joints right here where they meet up and then at the ends because I'm going to see if there's any um, vacuum leaks. And that's what I'm going to be looking for because it's getting rich or leaner and leaner so that means I have air coming somewhere into the system that it shouldn't be so I'm just spraying on here and then on the ends looking at for if um, the um, motor accelerates because it should be at idle I'm not running the engine now just because you want to be able to hear me but you just while the engine is idling you keep spraying these little ends in the connections and once you get to a point where the engine accelerates and you can hear it that's going to be where you have the leak coming from. So for me, I'm spraying right along here and I did this when the engine was running and I sprayed along this manifold and it started um, over revving and that's where I found I have my air leak from. So from here, I'm going to have to take this off and see exactly what's going on with my intake manifold. So again, just keep spraying. You'll hear where the engine accelerates and that's going to be where your leak is. And if you sprayed all these, you don't come across the acceleration, try the actual cables. You may have a little break in it where it's just becoming a brittle and you kind of crack and you're getting your air into there. So just keep spraying and you should be able to find where you have that air leak. Now that I know that intake manifold right here is where I'm getting this air leak, I'm going to have to take off the vacuum lines right here and here and I'll have to loosen this up the carburetor from the manifold just so I can pull it off and pull it over here so I can see exactly what's going on from underneath. So the first step, of course, just remove these vacuum lines. The throttle cable you can leave attached just because you don't have to pull that off and you can just pull it off to the side like I'm going to do and you'll be able to get to it and it'll be a little bit easier. It's not too hard to pull it off. I've done it many a times but whatever I don't have to take off, I'm not going to. So from here I loosen it up and it should squeeze right out and of course my air filter right in the back over there my cone or you know my pod filter was already loosened off I forgot to mention that also but from here we can just pull that aside 
and get down to my air, uh, my manifold. For the manifold, we just have these 10 millimeter bolts right here, one, two. So I'm just going to loosen those up with the um, rattle gun or, you know, the impact driver. One and number two. Easy as that. And now from here, I'll be able to pull this intake manifold off very easily. And there we go. Now I can get down to my actual the intake and see exactly what's going on with it. Now that the carburetor is off, you can see exactly what the problem is. And I found it instantly after removing it. It's going to be right here. This is going to be a plastic little spacer that goes between the engine and the carburetor. You can see right here, I'm pulling up on it, it's a little bit better view. But that's what's letting the air in, richening up or leaning up my mixture, having more air come into it. And that's what's causing me my problems. Now if you look further in, if you can see it, I don't know if you can, but you can see the valves, the intake valve right in there. So, one thing that you want to do when you're working on the engine like this, is you want to make sure that you protect the engine. And for me, I have this little rag here. Um, in the JDM market, they have actual little intake rags that you can stick into the engine to make sure nothing falls into it while you're working on it. For me, all I have is a little um, piece of shirt that got downgraded to a shop rag. So I'm going to replace the spacer right in here, retighten it down, put the card back on, put the lines back on, and then I should have the problem fixed. So with that, wraps up another episode of Joy's Garage. As I said, just a quick episode on how to find a vacuum leak if you find that your carburetor keeps getting out of tune and out of tune after you adjust it and adjust it and adjust it. It's just a real quick video to show you the steps to take. As I say, you just take the starter fluid, carburetor fluid, spray the hoses, spray any connections to the vacuum um, lines or anything like that, and you want to look for that acceleration of the engine. Once you find that acceleration, Go ahead, further investigate that part and see exactly what the problem is. So from here, I'd like to say thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, all that kind of stuff. As you can see, it's still late. It's about midnight here in my garage. I'm working on it just late because it's hot outside, man. It's still hot. I got the crickets chirping. I have it pitch black outside. What can I do? So I'm just going to do little quick videos until it starts cooling down. I can do more stuff in my garage. That takes more, you know, time and more effort. So, thank you for watching. And as I always say, please keep two wheels on the road and ride safe.